Hey, Davenport. Hey, Miss Smith. All right. Okay. Does your microphones work? Yeah. Good, good, good. Okay. Uh, first one, this is you, Mr. Davenport. We'd like you to go through our norms. No, as a right to every other person, education in the classroom, a circle, we will never behave in a way that we just go to ourselves, our school, or our family. And excel academy southwest student office acts of integrity. We take a pride in excel academy southwest. We respect the points of others. We respect the culture of the classroom. We are attentive and participate. We have high expectations of ourselves, our peers, and our teachers. We are here um, to focus on preparing ourselves for post secondary endeavors. That is very cool. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so the next slide I'm going to have Makayla read. See you, Michaela. Chicago Public Schools policy for the entire duration of the class must be attentive and participating. You will be removed from class due to lack of activity. If you are marked absent 24 days or more, you will automatically fail the course and be required to take the material in order to graduate. Thank you, Ms. Smith. All right. Okay, GGI Townhouse, this is every day. Uh, try to attend. They give out awesome resources, college trips. Uh, I think there's a Six Flags Grand Mega Trip for the seniors. But there's many more things you can take advantage of by just attending, especially the fact that you get five to ten points in my class at least when you do participate in the GGI topics. So it's every day from 11.15 a.m. to 11.45. That's 30 minutes of your time. Please try to attend. It really does help out uh, in terms of your scores and just understanding life skills. Uh, so if you need the link, you can get it from me or any of the teachers. Uh, I especially post it at the top of your classroom list in ESB, in your ESB student portal. Uh, Raspberry Pi 400 kits. We have had these for the beginning, for the most majority of the year. And these uh, kits allow you all to experience uh, applications in computer engineering, electrical engineering, computer science, uh, and even physics due to the sense hat included. Uh, what's also included in the kit is a book that you will need for most reading assignments that we did in the past. So if you don't have your kit by now, you need to schedule with the school to come up and get one. We'll be using these in the summer and more than likely using them into the next school year. So have it, maintain it, and it'll take care of you. On the flip side of that, if your kit is damaged or you need it repaired, you can bring all the parts that you have with the kit when you first got it to me or to the school and swap it out for a new kit while I try to repair or troubleshoot the kit that you had damage or whatever case may be. So do so at your earliest convenience or as soon as possible. All right, so this is Thursday. I'm gonna come back to Mr. Davenport. Can you read the screen here? Every Wednesday and Thursday, learn the code from the convenience of your home. You get extra credit for some of your classes. The pandemic's effect on the coding market. Why learn the code? A surprisingly bar benefits of coding. Interested, join by clicking the link at 4 p.m. Awesome, okay. Let's come here. Uh, Makayla, can you read that screen for me? The daily test. This will be able to complete the evaluation in ESB. The low odds for understanding students working in class. Inside of ESB, you can access all pre recorded videos to each class. These videos are normally ready to review by 4 p.m. day. All right, very good, Makayla. And next is going to be on you, Mr. Davenport. Classroom challenge day is square fields, and the word of the day is devoid. Today's objective students will be able to analyze or utilize Plateau and Mental online coursework, peripherals, and expansion module to evaluate how to install and configure common peripheral devices and expansion cards. Sorry, very good. Okay, so inside of SB is your assignment for today. You'll see here the town, townhouse information that I talked about a moment ago. 
you can utilize that at the same time. Um, there's also where you see the townhouse, the Bitmoji link to get to uh, my classroom in case you need it for the objective, uh, where the day, those things inside your exit slip. Scrolling all the way down, we have this assignment here. So to do it, I'm going to go inside and I'm going to put it in the chat. This is going to be, um, I think, Deontay, you need the points more than Michaela, so I'm going to let you read this one. It's worth 45 points, but let me first put it in the chat in like three sections. There's some more to it. Hold on. Character limit. And last part. Okay, so starting from hello all the way down, uh, Mr. Davenport, can you read that in the chat? Hello and good evening to all answer the robotic students. The link from my Bitmoji class is the link below. We will utilize the uh, plateau and a Edmonton, whatever it is. Curriculum online to complete today's assignment and module, peripherals and expansion. Please follow the instructions below. Your coursework is illustrated via this link. You need to be sure that you have access to a laptop or personal computer to be successful with all projects. You are required to take your time and pay attention to the instructions of each module in order to be successful with attaining at least 80% or higher of the overall completion. If your score is less than 80 percent, you will be required to retry the lab until the appropriate score is achieved. The access to template is down below. Stay safe out there and so on. Very good job, sir. Okay. So you have the exit information. You can do that uh, towards the end of class. But I want us to focus on Plato real quick. So, it's go ahead. I'm going to go to the bathroom. Thank you for letting me know. Come on back. Um, so we're inside of... Uh, the CTE Technician Training Part 1, Quarter 4. We're going to go down and just take a quick look at what everybody's accomplished. So I got to log in again. So if you don't know how to log in, you should by now. Davenport, you got to log in for this and everything? I got to create uh, an account. No, your account's already created. So uh, I don't know. Okay, so let me give you your account info. So it looks like this. So the first one, it says account, right? C-E-R-L. That's what you type in that first field. The next field is going to be your uh, username. Your screen isn't changing. No, you got to look at the chat. Uh, yeah, I'm telling you what to type in. Does your screen look like my screen where you can type these things in? Yeah. OK, so start doing what I'm doing. Uh, I gave you the first part. Type that in. The next part is going to be your uh, first name, last name, all one word. And then your password, which is a password for everybody. It's going to be this. Let me know if you can get in the system. Or if you have trouble. Okay. Uh, yeah, come over here. Mm -hmm. So, here we get in. Is the first name and the last name capital? No. Nothing's capitalized. I did that so you can just pay attention to how to write it. So yours should just be your first name, last name. No, it's not working. All right. Let me take a look at what you probably did. Uh, 
All right, so let's look you up. All right, so did you type it in this way? Oh, yeah, I put an E at the, at the end of my name. Is that an E? Oh, that's what they have in the system, yeah. So it's not yeah, an E at the end of your name? No, my name ends with an A. That's fair. Oh, well, I can fix that. Hold on a second. Yeah, SV has it with an E, so it's an A, huh? Okay. Yeah, I don't know where they get that. So I won't need you to fix that with, uh, I'm going to change it right now, but make sure Ortiz knows that. So he's the one that changes it in the system, okay? Okay. Uh, so let's do this real quick. You said with an A, right? Yeah. Is that correct? I can't really see it. I'm going to spell it out. D-E-O-N-T-A, Davenport. So yeah, I think that's right. All right. Okay. So now let's save. Okay, give it a shot now. You gotta refresh that browser. Did it work? I'm refreshing it. Okay. Yeah, it worked. All right, so you're in. All right, yeah. now I would like for you to go to, let me log out of this, your, uh, do you see the section that says CTE? Uh, it says home, all my work, messages, notes, my rewards. Okay, wait, wait. You don't see the CTE technician training? No. A, you, got, you should have some classes listed. All right, so one second. I'm going to log in, and I'm going to need you to share your screen so I can get you up to speed. All right, so let's take a look here. Um, and the course is here. No, you're in here. All right, so share your screen, dude, because I just think you don't know where to look. Um, you can't share your screen, so I changed this feature, right? I share your screen. Let's take a look at where you made it so far. Mm -hmm. That's it right there. This? Mm hmm But all activities. Oh. Mm, all, <laughs> I was going to say all activities, but you clicked on something else. Okay. Scroll down. All right. Yeah. So we're going to go to, I think it's chapter or unit one hardware. And since Monday, just to get you up to speed, I haven't seen you in a while. Glad to have you back. Um, go to curriculum and show you where we're at. Did you click on hardware? It should expand. Here we go. And if you, your screen looks like mine's now. So to help you out, Monday we did the mastery test for here, right? But it's just like uh, Everfy, uh, Davenport, you got to use a tutorial to figure out the answers, okay? So, so you got memory and processor to do, storage display and print devices to do, and these are the mastery tests. The tutorials are just like having the book, but online, so you can go through and answer correctly. Um, you're not going to do the simulation. Uh, you're going to jump to motherboard. That was, uh, I want to say, yesterday. Motherboard and BIOS. Peripherals and expansion is what we're on today. Okay. So, uh, Mikhail, did you return? Or no. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, you know which section we're on, right? You say what? You, you know which section we're doing, right? Yeah. Okay. So, I'm going to go through a little bit of it together. 
And then I'm going to let you all work on it for a couple of minutes. So I'm going to do like maybe, uh, I want to say 10 of the slides and then um, let you work on it. So everybody, if you want to follow me, start on the tutorial for peripherals and expansion today. This is due today by APM. Like I said, you want to go through the tutorial and if best, also have your, uh, your mastery test open if you can. So you can be looking for the questions as the tutorial is running. So this is tutorial. I got opened it twice. That's a tutorial. Then the mastery test is what you got to complete with at least 80% to get credit for that section. So this is here. And this is what I would do if I were you. I'd have the questions over here and be looking for it as the tutorial is running this tutorial. So I'm going to now go to a different mode so you all can hear what's happening. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Peripherals and expansion. In this lesson, you will describe how to install and configure common peripheral devices and expansion cards. You use computers in many areas of life, such as business, education, science, and entertainment, and their uses are growing. They can perform a wide variety of calculations and process large amounts of data. After processing, computers output the data to the user. A computer requires input and output devices to allow users to communicate with it. Basically, input devices allow users to enter data into the computer, and output devices allow users to receive data from the computer. In this lesson, you'll identify and describe the different types of input devices, such as a mouse, touchpad, keyboard, scanner, joysticks, and multimedia input devices. You'll identify and describe the different types of output devices, such as printers, speakers, and display devices. You'll also identify and describe input and output devices, such as touchscreens, smart TVs, and set-top boxes. Finally, you'll explain how to install and configure expansion cards for video, multimedia, input, output, and communications. Okay, uh, Michaela, can you read what's on the screen here for me? You use input devices to enter data into the computer. Data enter using an input, input device is stored in primary memory or permanently on the terminal storage. The data can be processed by the process without input devices. users will not be able to instruct computers or enter data. Let's learn about some common input devices. Okay, she read that, but there were some sections here. And thank you, Michaela. So the primary memory, if you click on this little blue word, it tells you what it means in definition form. You might need that in your, uh, your mastery test later. So uh, it's temporary memory of device. It's also called RAM, random access memory. We talked about that a while ago. Internal storage, permanent storage device such as a hard drive or optical disk. Hard uh, disk drive, I'm sorry, or optical disk. All right, so next step is going to be uh, Mr. Davenport. What I want you to do is read this section on a mouse, right? And then we got other sections. We're going to tag team it. So go ahead with the mouse. Explain how to install and configure expansion cards for video multimedia. Okay.
A mouse is a pointing and selecting device. It fits in the hand. The users, the user moves the mouse over a smooth surface. The move, this movement is translated into a two-dimensional movement of an on-screen pointer called a cursor. The mouse has button has buttons and scroll wheel to help with various functions. Older mice track a movement mechanically using a roll ball. Newer mice use a optic optical set system that tracks movement by the reflection of the light. There are specialized mice for office shoes, gaming, and ergonomics. Ergonomics. Wired mice are were originally connected to using a serial point or PS2. Newer wired mice are connected using a universal serial bus, bus USB interface. There are also wireless mice that connect using Bluetooth. Thank you, yes, sir. All right, Kyla, we're going to do one more, and Kyla's going to do this one. Um, let's do... Uh, this one's right here. All right, Kyla, can you do this one for us? A scanner can convert a physical energy. <laughs> oh, my God. I'm, I'm going to go to it on mine, because <laughs> I'll be able to read it better. You wanna you know what slide it is? It's uh, slide eight. Okay. A scanner can convert a physical image, such as a photograph or a page from a book, into a digital image. Scanners project light onto the image surface and then read the light reflected off the surface. Scanners also use software that can scan documents into a edit. What is it? Hmm. Editable. How you say it? Editable. Oh, that's what I thought. Editable text <laughs> format rather than an image. This is called optical charger recognition OCR. Scanners used to be connected through a serial connector. However, these days scanners use USB connectors. They are also wireless scanners. Very good. All right. So we're at a point where we're gonna review our objective. You got 35 slides to go through. Like I said before, make sure you have it tabbed. So let me uh, come out of this and show you what I mean by that. Not tab, but a uh, screen partitioned or separated. If you look here, so you'll see I have my screen set up so I can be looking at my tutorial and looking for questions that the tutorial might be talking about. 35 slides. So it's possible to get 100% on this. You just got to take your time and make sure you answer, correct, uh, answer the questions correctly. Also, if you happen to get locked out or I don't know, you got a low score. Let me know, all right? Uh, and I can reset it. So it's 2 o'clock. We got we to get out to 2.30. So we need 15 minutes to work on this. And um, then we're going to do share outs. And we might be leaving around 2.20. Just depends on how much you can get done. I have to remind everybody that you have an exit slip to complete today as well. So uh, try to finish that. All right, there we go. And let's see, Mr. Davenport, can you read our screen for our objectives and stuff here, like uh, word of the day and all that? The word of the day is peripherals, and the word of the day is devoid. Today's objective, the students will be able to utilize Plateau Edmonton online courseware, peripherals and expansion module to evaluate how to install and configure common peripheral devices and expansion cards. All right, very good, very good. All right, so the clock is ticking, 14 minutes. Let's see how far you can get. Take your, take your time, read through the questions. This is really like SAT training. You have to read and then look for the answer, right? So if you know you have a qu particular question in mind with your tutorial, up, I'm sorry, with your uh, mastery test open, you will already be in the frame of mind to scan through and find the appropriate answer in your tutorial section. Likewise, uh, your exit slip information is left up here. If you get frustrated, take a break, knock out the exit slip, then come back. Sometimes taking a small break within that time frame can reset your brain and you might actually find it because you might just be thinking too hard, okay? So let me know. I'll be here in case you got questions. I'm just uh, getting the classroom set up for something else.
Mr. Tyler. Davenport, I see your hands up. I'm sorry. What's your question? I've been go I've been trying to go to the tutorial, but mine is stuck on page 14. It says, please wait. Your question is loading, and it hasn't stopped loading. Uh, did you try to refresh? I thought it would, like, make me restart everything. Uh, if it does, then I will. OK, so show me your screen. I'm going to verify. You say it's stuck on question five? 14. That question is, I'm trying to go through the slides. So oh, I'm you're in the to, tutorial. Uh, yeah, and it's just like stuck right here. All right. Okay. It's so it's so not, much. don't that, don't worry about it starting you over. You can always get back. Right. Okay. Okay. So that's the tutorial. There's nothing to worry about. If you get that on your mastery test, that'd be something to worry about. But. Just refresh it. It might be the server is locked up for a second and it should bring you back. If not, you can close that and jump back in it. Just remember what slides you was on in the tutorial so you can get back to it. I it right back to it. You good? That's okay. all you needed? Okay, no problem. But it says about to ask me a question. Oh, here it goes. Okay. You said what? Nothing. So you're good now? All right. Yeah. Keep working at it. You got six more minutes, Chief.
Okay, uh, so uh, let's see here. Makayla, can you read the screen for me? You said read that. Yes, ma'am. Last one from the day is peripheral. What are the day devoid? Today, the deficits will be able to utilize Plato and admit some online course with peripherals and expansion modules to evaluate how to install and configure common peripheral devices and expansion cards. Thank you, Michaela. All right, so uh, that's the exit slip information, everybody. Uh, let's see how far you all have gotten. Uh, real quick, no, I don't want to do that. Here, go to, to refresh everything. All right, so let's take a look at it. We got Kyla. Kyla's been uh, doing okay. I go back and do these 40 percentiles. I unlocked them, I saw that earlier. What about peripherals? All right, so you're locked for some reason. Did you need me to reset it, Mikaela? What happened? No, I'm doing it now. Oh, okay. It says locked. So if you get trouble, let me know. All these 40s, you just got to do them until you get 80s or something like that. But they're unlocked. So I did that earlier. Um, let's check out Mr. Davenport. Okay. okay. So you got 0% Davenport. Are you still working on it or you need me to reset this for you? I'm still working on it right now. Okay, so it says 0%. Why though? I'm confused. All right, well, it's still working. Let me know if you get stuck. But um, it is 219, so it'll be five more minutes. So you guys can tell me if you need me to reset. But understand, you got your exit slip to do today. And you got to get 80% on this today. You know, uh, you don't turn in anything for this. You just complete the test with 80%. The exit slip, though, does need to be turned in today's assignment, uh, posted in Esby. So under the title for today's assignment, you just click on that, hit the submit button, browse your computer for the, the you should have downloaded your exit slip as a PDF once you're done. You're going to put that into Esby. I'll grade that, and then I'll look at this and see if you got your 80%, okay? Remember, the end slip is 30% of today's score. Uh, Play-Doh assignment for uh, this section, uh, peripherals and expansion, is 70%. So it's really imperative you finish both to get that whole 100% score. All right? If you have not done any of these or you got lower scores, go back and get them up to 80%, these mastery tests. All right? Because I'm starting to put the grades in, and I don't want to put in something lower than 100% for you all, especially if this stuff is super easy to do. Just take your time and uh, try to answer the question correctly. All right, so it is 2.20. We put five more minutes on the clock. We're going to get ready to move to fifth period. I'll be here in case you got questions. Keep working.
Yeah, it's something wrong with my eyes. It says something went wrong. We attempted to submit your answer, but there was a problem. Please try again. Okay, give me a second. I'll reset it for you. Okay, uh, try to recycle it and see if you can get in there. Uh, Mikayla, it looks like you only got 20%, so I'll unlock yours again. You said what? It says you only got 20% is locked. I already unlocked it. Which one? What got 20%? Peripheral's an expansion. I didn't, I didn't finish it. Oh, okay. Shows it was locked, so make sure it wasn't. Can you show? Okay, can you show me how to get the two screens? Cause I don't know how to do that. And then when I try to add another tab, it's just gonna lock me out. Okay. Uh, come here. So you, but what, what was you asking me again, McConnell? You said because you, you came in broken through. You do the two screens, like when you have. Oh, from yeah. how to partition it. Yeah, so just make sure you double click in this area where it's the space and it should resize it. And you grab the edges, right, of your screens. So you got an edge here you can grab, you just click and drag, and then you come to the edge up here. And once it turns into a double arrow like that, you're able to click and drag. And what you want to do is open up, like I said, your tutorial on one of the panes and another, your mastery test. Okay. Does that help? I guess so. All right. All right, uh, so it is 227, you two. Uh, you know what you got to do. If you need my help as far as resetting anything or uh, just let me know. Uh, uh, 
Um, let's see here. Nigga Lee. Yeah, I was trying to tell you that. I was trying to see if there's anything you need, but uh, turn everything in, and yeah, you're free to go. Mikayla and Davenport, you try to get this stuff done. This is a lot of points worth. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Deontay, did you hear me? Or no? Okay. Yes, Davenport? My computer died. It's okay. Class is over. Charge of the computer and keep working. All right. All right. See you tomorrow.